I actually don't even know what it is either. Oh my gosh. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Drinking with Jacob. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today we have a good friend of mine, probably the person that I know best that knows and understands people. He understands people better than anybody I know. Um, he understands market trends and marketing better than anybody I know and just understands how the social and uh, online marketing works. Oh man, so. really gassing me up here. Take a number one through four, we'll get it started. Two. Wait, there we okay, go. Okay, there we go. What does it smell like? Apples. Apples, okay. Interesting. <laughs> is this cough syrup? <laughs> Yo, what is this? It's definitely not cough syrup. Oh, you can take that off. It is a nutriment. What? It is a 16 gram protein, 24 vitamins and minerals, 30% of your daily value. Dude, like that, that tastes so thick. Like, <laughs> my name is Nicholas Jordan Chen. I do basically Facebook advertisement, advertisement media, marketing, and ad set creation, which is basically looking at people and decide and determining uh, what markets would be good for your business to be focused on. How did you realize that you're good at this? My background is very academic. I went to undergrad in Stony Brook and I went to grad school in Columbia. And all you do is write research papers uh, in these in these type of situations. So all you're doing is researching, 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 trying to dig up an under, and and my topic of study really did focus on people. I like taking myself as a third party and looking at the situation from the outside. My first client was my mother. She is a real estate saleswoman and she's a buyer's agent and she was looking for clients. So you have two different agents in real estate. You have a seller's agent and a buyer's agent. Seller's agent represents the seller in the agreement having to do oh, with I the see. house. Mm -hmm. The buyer is mm -hmm. basically the person that's coming in saying, I like that house. Mm -hmm. But you have to find someone that says, I want that house. Mm -hmm. So that person, there's a certain demographic of that person, something, things that they like to buy, music that they like to listen to, clothes that they like to income. wear, income that they have, uh, how many kids, you know, if they're married or not, where they, you know, where they live, how they live, the, all those necessary ingredients. That's good. That's all well and good, but you have to have a platform that can target that. And that's sure. where Facebook and Google, you know, they come into play because which is, they know everything. Which <laughs> You want to finish that? Do you want to? No, absolutely not. I have like chalk in my mouth right now. <laughs> it's going like, back in the can. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you going to feed it to somebody else? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> um, you pick two. So pick one, three, or four. Four? Yeah. Not even washing the glass. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. Oh, that's more appropriate. What do you think? It's really interesting. It's tainted, I can say that right It is now. slightly tainted. Maybe I should wash out the glasses next time. Is it wine? No, because the banana flavor is adulterating. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know. I give up. I don't all know right. what this is at all. So, I actually don't even know what it is either. But <laughs> what? <laughs> it's called Sedgwick's The Original Brown. Brown? <laughs> it's just brown? My sister went to South Africa in December, and she brought this back for me. But it doesn't say anything like what kind of alcohol it is. It's like a, some type of liqueur. Yeah, oh, that's a good. That's probably what it is. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a, liqueur. a liqueur. All right, so let's continue that. We were talking about Facebook. People should be a part of it because it's a powerful tool. I heard a quote, and he's like, "Whoa, whoa, hold on! Social media and online, the internet is real life." And he, and you have to. And it's like, well, what do you mean? But that's like, think about this. If I, if I said check out this musician and you mm -hmm. Google him and he doesn't come out, he doesn't exist to you. He's not real. Correct. Now you have to have an online presence to exist. If all your competition has Facebook pages or, or you know, when you Google them, they show up as the first five results, then, yeah, you're going to have to compete on that level. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way you're going to be able to be successful if you're not competing on that level. Define what you, you want. You have to define what you want in the That's first place. If you're, if you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I want to make art for art's sake and just create things, great. Don't worry, don't worry about it. But if you want to actually sell it, you have to compete. It's it's a marketplace at yeah. that point in time. Are you ready ready for the third drink? Uh, I'm always ready for a third drink All as right. long as it's actually a good drink. Let me uh, put that on. I'm gonna get us new glasses. Oh my <laughs> gosh, three. Oh, I like that sound already. <laughs> That's the type of sound I'm looking for right there. Corks are popping. Take well, a sniff. You poured a little extra for yourself, didn't you? No, that's actually yours, though. Uh -huh. A paint thinner. <laughs> paint thinner. <laughs> West Vanilla, that's 100% Total Mordeaux. It is neither. Neither. It it's is Rebel, Rebel Yell. Yell. This is pretty, this is this is pretty sweet, actually. You know, when, when one of my favorite uh, bourbons, it's actually rye, is um, Bullet Rye. 
you yeah. know, that we talked about. And that goes for like $40 a bottle. And Glenlivet, which is one of my favorites, goes for $50 a bottle. Yeah. $55 a bottle. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah, being $18 yeah. is like less than half the price, you know, and it just, but it's actually, it actually compares. And it's, it's amazing how just like everything, just like, just like art and just like everything, it's all subjective, right? Uh, that's 100% true. And I think I might actually pick up one of these. This is, that's actually a really, that's, it's you know, really good. consumer 18, advice by Rebel Yell. For $18, like, it's Hashtag actually, not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored, but if you we want to sponsor. We would love to be sponsored. <laughs> Every time they're all about exposure to the proper audience. I, I will look at someone that shared a post, right? And then I'll see, hey, nobody really liked it on that person's page. But then I'll look at their demographic. And then mm -hmm. I'll take their demographic and analyze it, and I'll say that means that the people that they're friends with don't are not actually interested in this. That means that if anything, marketing is uh, targeting and marketing ad sets are more about removing people than adding people. And that is a logical fallacy that people have. They are talking about, well, okay, these type of people like my stuff and these type of people like my stuff. No, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in those people don't like your stuff and those people don't like your stuff. And I'm not gonna go toward that in that direction. That is interesting. Because in reality, once you post it, it goes, it can go everywhere. I can put it everywhere. For you. I can send an ad out to every single last person in the United States of America. But, you know, someone's 60-year-old grandmother is not going to be interested in the chain smokers. Uh -huh. Ain't going to happen. All right, I'm going to put this down. I get knowledgeable. Oh, put down the visor. All right, ready? Yeah, yeah. Um, Go ahead. All right. <laughs> no? You give me one. I did give you one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're not a wine drinker? No, I hate wine. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't know. you don't like wine, actually. Based on the stuff you're into, I figured you'd be a wine guy. Nah, man, I ain't that high class. That's that's, that's like that's like my mother. My mother loves wine. Actually, wine just gives me a headache. That's fine. <laughs> not, I don't think it's that. It's not like oh, this is amazing to me personally. I like I like wine, um, and it's like oh, this is amazing. It's it's but it's also palatable. It's not like I mean, did you see that episode with Kevin drinking with Jacob and Kevin? Uh, the, the <laughs> So at least it's not that one. <laughs> that is a perfect way to end this show. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. You're not gonna test me if I can if I can laugh at that? No, nah, because I know I won't beat you, so I'm not even wasting you. The I hate you. Why? Why are you gonna do that to me, brother? <laughs> Yo, you're gonna tell me I'm gonna. Yo, I you you I might get me. You might no, get there's me. No, there's no way. Maybe, maybe. There's no way. I I know I know I would not beat you, so I'm not wasting my gift card on that. Why? <laughs> Why? Come on, dude. That's not fair. So we'll play this. We'll play this with a different game. You got a ten dollar Starburst gift card. Yeah. So. Okay. So I'm gonna say three statements. Yeah. Two are gonna be truth, and one's gonna be a lie. Uh, we're gonna go five rounds. If you have to get more than three to win. Yeah. You have to get more than three correct to win. All right. Can I fool a friend? No. You can't <laughs> <run> a friend. <laughs> yeah. This episode's running long, so. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. My first drink that I ever tried was Glenlivet. That's that's a hundred percent true. You told me that already. Are right, you lost already? My second drink was Glenlivet. <laughs> Your first drink was called. What did you say was your first drink? It was a, it was a red wine. I tried first. The Ooh, second you did tell me that. The second the second drink. You did drink tell I me the truth. Was... You told me the truth. I'm sorry. Continue, <laughs> please. Um. So we've been dating for nine years. We married for four months, or I started dating in tenth grade. I think it's five. You've been married. You've been married for five. Years. December, January, February, March. Four months. Only four months. I released over over fifteen, thirty. Or 45 tracks. I think that you have posted... You've done 45. Nah, 32. 32? 32 or 33. Well, people are getting to know you better. Exactly. That's the whole so. point. <laughs> I know that's the whole point. No, that's not. I knew from the beginning. I was like, this guy wants to talk about himself right now. <laughs> Expose himself to the public. Uh, yeah, I, you, I, made, I, you made me think on my feet. I had to think on my feet because I didn't have a game for you because I knew that you were going to beat me. So Yeah, but... <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate you being on the show, man. Thanks for drinking with Yo, Jacob. Any last minute, brother. any last minute uh, thoughts? Online marketing, Facebook marketing, um, is definitely something that you have to look into. I can show you, teach you, and kind of guide you 
um, into you know growing your business into that next step. You send me an email. Nicholas J. Chan. Yeah, Nick. Uh, yeah, exactly. If you say you know you saw me on Drinking with Jacob, maybe I'll uh, you know throw something in there. You know, maybe we'll work something out. Right? So Sounds good, man. That'd be good. So. All right, cool. I appreciate you being on the show. Thanks Definitely. For with Jacob. Thank you for thank you for inviting me. That's really appreciated.